hello beautiful capricorns welcome back to the channel everybody thank you capricorn for all your generosity your likes your comments your subscriptions are deeply appreciated let's see capricorn what are the messages for capricorn hmm. capricorn energy some of you are shamans or you have a spirit guide a grandfather who is the presence of a grandfather is around you they could be a shaman a spirit guide they could be a writer they could be speaking to you huh. some of you are artists writers actors performers you have master ancestor DNA you are a holy one Some of your ancestors are holy ones. There is a, pro um, a presence of a grandfather around you. You could be a home and, uh, a shaman, a holy one, or there is a holy person around you. You could be a creator, a writer, an actor. You have mastered DNA. Mm, you're highly respected. Hmm. Some of you... cannot get something clear. Some of you are not accepting something or not clear about something. You may have, like, had to release someone to take control so somebody may have been trying to control your energy here blocking your blessing somehow this could be writer's block creativity blocks somebody is draining on your energy Triggers. Hmm. Some of you are receiving alternative healing or are you have a choice to make, have chosen to use some kind of shamanic. Um, holy healings this is could be alternative healing methods alternative healing uh, tools some of you are triggered into alternative healing methods there could be a, a holy one around you it's in your master dna here to be this shaman this writer actor performer creator but it seems as if something or someone is draining you of your energy you've got a holy one around you or you are a holy one you have master dna of shamanic healing properties or you're being told to search out some kind of alternative healing methods and it could be a shaman awakening the genius a merry motive some of you are writers are writing a story it's like all of a sudden these blockages are removed the genius awakens in you. You have merry motives. This is someone's grandfather is awakening the genius in you. Maybe you're writing about a shamanic journey. Maybe some of you are actors, writers, and it's like you may have had a creative block, but it's being opened. 
you're getting a higher perspective. There is some, yeah, you're seeing beyond whatever it was. You're keeping your ears wide open, listening. You're getting roots of abundance, healing, healing. So definitely you're healing after somebody was telling a tall tale. It's been a beautiful uncaging, so quiet your mind. There is waking the lion. It is bittersweet, I'm hearing, but it's brought you in to an awakening, or brought this person into an awakening. You're awakening the genius within you. Hmm. Somebody definitely was playing on your energy. And maybe you've had a blockage in your... Uh, you know, what you were trying to create. Do with your work. Hmm. It's to do with your work. <sighs> Worry and sadness. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Healing. This is Master DNA. This is something... Shaman energy. Truth and clarity. You're highly intuitive. You're being blessed with some kind of inheritance or some kind of legacy here is master DNA. Hmm. 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 There is love here. There is a soulmate connection here. A lot of love here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why Spirit is being so adamant about this, guys, but they are. <clears throat> whatever you are to manifest, whatever you're trying to manifest in your life, there is somebody else trying to steal your blessings, block your blessings, take what is meant for you and give it to a karmic energy it was <laughs> I don't think that they can manifest without you 
there is jealousy and envy here. Even though this person seems to be, there's some theft here, guys. Draining on your energy. Maybe some of you are shamans. Maybe some of you are writers, creators, actors, performers, singers, holy ones. There is a presence of a grandfather around you protecting you or a father. You're being told to protect yourself because someone is holding a grudge against you. Somebody wants to come running in here. What is this to keep you stuck again? This person could be in a jam. This person could be in uh, looking to you. You are a holy one. Maybe you are a shaman. Maybe you are uh, some high-ranking official here. It's in your master DNA. And I think someone is... Hmm. Someone is very hurt because you're being recognized. They're jealous and envious that you have this placement of high honor, high respect, this high ranking uh, holy one. Like I said, you have awakened the genius within you. I think that this person is jealous and envious because you are manifesting some kind of master DNA. It's in your DNA <clears throat> to have these blessings. Many of you are holy people. Many of you are shamans, writers, actors, musicians. Our shamans are healers. It's in your master DNA and somebody else is like hurt that you're being recognized. Hurt that you have created a life for yourself. You could be a creator. You could be a creative writer. You could be getting a lot of fame and fortune or recognition for your work. And this is hurting someone else. It's your master DNA. It's in your DNA. Someone is envious and jealous of what is in your DNA. They want what you have. They're up to no good. That's what they're up to. Hmm. They want your fortune. They want your destiny was destined for you it's almost like this came out in the Sagittarius read guys so you might be dealing you may have Sagittarian placements in your chart this is almost the same but different somebody wants your blessings they want what was destined for you they were going back and forth they were giving something to a karmic that was meant for you now this karmic wants this person to return to your life 
to take something from you. They can't manifest without you, but spirits got them blocked. Somebody could be trying to block your fortunes, block your blessings. They cannot manifest or they cannot receive this inheritance. It's not in their master DNA. So it's almost like when this person was with you, they were doing really well. And since they're not with you, they cannot manifest. <laughs> They're competing with you. They're jealous of your blessings. This person seemed to be toying with your energies. It's almost like they were stealing from you, whether that be your energy, your finances, whatever it was. You were getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And they were getting stronger, stronger, stronger. It's your energy. Since they're not around your energy, they cannot manifest. A lot of these people are returning because they cannot manifest without you. And spirit is going, this is in Capricorn's DNA. This is in Capricorn's destiny. This is Capricorn's blessings. Many of you are like high ranking, considered to be shamans or holy people or healers. And it's like, hmm. Hmm. I don't like the energy. I'm going to be real with you. Some of you could be, cons you have been inspired by a holy one. It's in your master DNA to be this shaman, this creator, this writer, this healer. Are you for real here? You could be into alternative medicines or your grandfather was master healers, master, uh, it belongs to you. I don't know who you're dealing with. But this karmic energy is very greedy. It's like they were gaining strength. They were gaining in power. Somebody's trying to steal your DNA. It's in your genes. It's in your DNA. There's competition and jealousy for what was meant for you. Oh. 
Someone is trying to tap into your DNA, guys. I got to say it right now. If you're feeling low energy, if you're feeling like your energy has been drained low, it is this karmic doing it. They are getting stronger while you are getting weaker. They are jealous and they are competing with you. But they can't manifest. They're being blocked. They cannot manifest. They cannot. So it's almost like just by you being around this energy, it was like you could have felt your energy getting really drained you could have had a lot of health complications or a lot of health issues going on. It's this karmic energy draining you. Of what was meant for you. Your talents, your creative ideas, they're like stealing your ideas and they are trying to manifest some kind of finance by doing so. Being happy at your expense. It's like this energy was taking your energy or your ideas and manifesting with someone else and since you're not around they can't manifest it is meant for you that's why so if your energy has been low if you were feeling drained if you were feeling like um you've hit some kind of block or something like that either energetically or otherwise it's because this person's draining on your energy. This is a karmic who is getting uplifted, enlightened by whatever it is you're doing. It's like this person is stealing your ideas or is trying to steal from you, either energetically or financially. It's your ideas. So it's almost like this person that you were dealing with was sharing what you were doing, sharing what you were planning, sharing your creative ideas and claiming them for themselves. They were. They were getting stronger and you were getting weaker. They were building a solid foundation at your expense energetically, financially, or otherwise. You have holy people around you, holy ancestors, like shamans, like healers, like spiritual people. You could have found that you had healing energy that was being sent out to other people. So your gifts. And since you are not around this person, like they were siphoning your gifts or your energy just by you being in their presence. They were uplifted energetically, maybe health-wise, maybe financial-wise. And now they're heavily burdened. 
They were draining your energy, your resources, taking those ideas or those creative talents that healing energy they were thinking that they could but they can't they can't they can't spirit saying it's not in their dna they were stealing You could have found yourself all stressed out. You could have found yourself all worried, stressed out. They were juggling. They were taking your blessings, your healing abilities, and giving them to someone else, draining you. Yes, they were. They were being unjust in here, there, whatever you're creating, taking those plans, taking those ideas, but spirits got them blocked. They cannot create. That's why you may have been blocked. You might have had creators block. You may have said, what's going on here? All of a sudden, I can't create. All of a sudden, I can't develop what it is I'm trying to accomplish here. It's because this person was siphoning your energy. Maybe through sex. You know what I mean? That transference of energy. Maybe was keeping you stuck. They were gaining in resources while you were losing. Mm. Hmm. Karma. And since you have walked away, you're happy or on a solid foundation. It's like your ships are coming in. Whatever you've been waiting for has been, you're seeing a lot of positive growth here, stability. This karmic, they were thinking they could take what you have and give it to this karmic. It's your master DNA. There is some kind of spiritual uh, justice going on here. Hmm. See, they were planning some kind of revenge on you. Some kind of attack on you. Some kind of revenge on you. On an earth angel. And give it to this karmic. It's like the karmic has. And since you've walked away, it's like you're reestablishing yourself. You're regrowing. You're seeing a lot of positive change. You're seeing your creative blocks could have been removed. Because this person was stealing from you energetically and giving to a karmic. They were planning revenge on you for your blessings this 
could have been something from the past. This could have happened and see they were stealing your information or stealing your creative messages, sending them back to the karmic so the karmic could create jealous and envious of your gifts because they cannot manifest without you. They can't figure out why. Yeah, they were giving these talents. See, they were going back and forth. This karmic energy was taking your creative ideas and manifesting, building with your ideas. Oh, and now they're pinching pennies and they're being blocked here. It's your work. It's your work. It's your talents. You're too strong. You're too powerful. You're too intuitive. It's in your master DNA to have this. They were planning on hurting you. And now they're heavily burdened. Because you're being spiritually protected from this other lover. See what I mean? You're too strong. You're too confident. You're a warrior. What the hell? So this other lover was benefiting off of your ideas, your energy, your siphoning your ideas through this person that you were dealing with, trying to create a fortune on you. That's why they're spying on you. But they're going broke. Financially unstable because this emperor was actually taking what you were doing and manifesting it with the karmic. That's why they're being blocked. King of Wands after this coin, see what I mean? The Empress's coins, gifts, and now they're the ones that are being trapped. They're the ones that are worrying. They're the ones that are being stressed out. And you are the healer. I'm telling you right now. That's why they were doing so well when they were going back and forth between you and a karmic energy. The karmic was gaining in strength. The karmic was gaining in royalties while you were losing. You nasty asses, see? And they're being blocked. They're being stuck financially in a bind. This is master DNA. This is master blessings. Holy people, give me a break. Uh, spiritual warfare. Because you're high ranking, you're high official. You were a holy person or a shaman or a healer. Something like that. And they're going through a disaster. Everything is crashing down around them. Oh my God, whoa. And they figured if they ended things with you that they could acquire this with the karmic. That's why they ghosted you. They're very selfish, cold-hearted. Cut out their soulmate. <laughs> now that's like, can we be friends? I want to come back around. Maybe they're in need of a healing now. That's just nasty, man. Stealing your ideas, your creativity, your creative talents, and manifesting them with a karmic energy. 
and they were doing a lot of growth. And then when you walked away from this person's, it was all cool when they could go back and forth. But since you walked away from this person's life, they cannot manifest. So don't be surprised if they want to return. Telling a tall tale because you have roots of abundance. You, the genius has awoken in you. And maybe you're writers, maybe you're musicians, maybe you're actors, performers, holy people, shamans, healers, all that stuff. Maybe some of you are into alternative medicines. And um, these are your mass, it's in your master DNA to have this. And now this person, it was all fine, like I said, when they were in your energy. But soon as they were no longer in your energy, they cannot manifest. See, they were going back and forth, taking from you, giving to a karmic energy, so they were establishing themselves. But when you decided to walk away, they can't manifest, they're being blocked. You know, when you're around holy people or you're around, uh, you have this master DNA, anybody benefits if they're in your presence. They just naturally feel better. It's like good luck rub, rubs off in them. They've lost their lucky charm. That's that earth magic. <laughs> You get your gifts from the universe. When you call on the universe, they respond to you. They willingly released you. And now you're seeing a burst of magic happening in your life. They were blocking. It's like spirit created a blockage because this person was not to manifest without you, with a karmic energy. And since they've been gone, you might find, oh, geez, I'm starting to feel better. Or, you know, some of you, when you were with this person, may have had to go to a shaman, a holy one, a healer. Seek alternative medicines. It's in your master DNA. Yeah. It's almost like they were siphoning off your energy. They could have let, left you feeling like exhausted, like tired all the time. Because uh, they were siphoning your energy. Claiming it for themselves. You have a shaman spirit guide around you. You could be a shaman. Somebody's grandfather, the presence of a grandfather is around you. It's like you've inherited these gifts through master DNA. Master ancestor DNA, it's in your genes. People stealing, siphoning your energies. Hmm. Hmm. You have holy ones around you. Some of you are holy people. Have a lot of knowledge and wisdom. Leadership qualities and abilities. Very creative. 
Mm. You give life. The life givers give life to the earth. It's in your DNA, which is why a lot of your fantastic gardeners work well with Mother Earth, work well with the properties of the earth, like alternative medicines, you know, uh, roots and leaves and trees and things in the forest. Comes natural to you. Healers, I'm telling you. And this person was siphoning your energy. Take care, Capricorn.